Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn what is the difference between element state change and element attribute change and how to use them. Okay, we are going to see all of it. First of all, I am going to delete this activity and I have shown you in the previous videos that I have to use the trigger scope activity and within the trigger scope activity on UiPath, I am going to drag and drop the element state change activity that is available the moment you type trigger if you scroll down there is something called element attribute and element state change so i have dragged and dropped the element state change now to experiment this you need to open rpachallenge.com okay on the background now let's click on this and click on indicate on screen and keep it aside and then i am going to highlight the rpa challenge so what is the meaning the moment rpachallenge.com appear on screen then it will get activated and in the action section I have put a message box and saying user has opened RPA challenge. Getting it? Very simple. Now let's execute this so that we can understand in detail and we will see the difference. So I have started the execution. Wait for a couple of seconds. Okay. Now this activity, what this activity is doing? it has started monitoring to see if there is a change if if a new instance of rpachallenge.com is appearing on the screen for example if i go to shortest path if i go to shortest path what does the title have come over here automation challenge the moment i hit on input forms look at this now it is still monitoring but it's not got triggered it's not triggered yet if it triggers it will come to the message box so Let's say I'm going to click on any other option like movie search or any other option if you are clicking, nothing is going to happen. So it is still in the same state. The moment I'm going to click on input forms, what happens on my screen, rpachallenge.com has appeared. The moment this element appears on the screen, what happened? The automation got executed and it, it tells me user has opened rpachallenge.com. This is simple on element, uh, you know, how this one is working working let me stop it so element state and change is just waiting if the element is appearing newly on the screen by whichever means if that appears on the screen then it tells hey the rpachallenge.com has been opened okay you can use any kind of a log message message box or any kind of action you would like to do you can design that so this is understood now you will have rakesh then what is the difference the ui path element attribute okay element attribute change so what is the difference between these two so let me show you let me delete this now i am going to work on the ui path element attribute change activity i am going to click on indicate element on screen i have to keep that in background i'll hit on f2 okay so this is there in the background now i am going to select the same rpachallenge.com element okay i have selected the element and here it asks me select the attribute name. So I'll go with there is something called active accessibility name. So what is this? This is the name of the element. So the, the name of the element is RPA challenge. And this you can verify if you click on selector. Okay, the title is RPA challenge.com. A name is RPA challenge. Getting it? Okay. So this one you have understood. Now the moment I am going with element attribute change, and if I run this, okay. You have seen last time whenever I'm coming to this tab, the trigger got activated. But with the element attribute, so it is looking at the change in the attribute. Attribute in the sense if there's a change rpchallenge.com to something else for this element, then only it will get activated. For example, this is active. Let me click on shortest path. Let me come back to input form. So the moment I was coming back to input form when I was using the previous activity state change, I was seeing you know there was a prompt but if you see now nothing is happening see nothing is happening i'm clicking on several options but the trigger is not getting activated that means this activity element attribute change does not work for this kind of a you know for this kind of a uh, uh, change if you want to monitor you should go with element state change not element attribute change 
getting it element state change activity i should use now what is the use of then you have a question rakesh then what is the use of this element attribute change let me tell you so rpa challenge.com gives you an option here if you see the start button the moment you click on start button what is happening the a name is getting the button is the same but here if you see the a name has changed from start to round one yes or no if i refresh again it will come back to i'm refreshing the entire page so what is happening with the button the attribute of the button is changing so those cases where the attribute of an element changes you should go for element attribute change if not you should go with element state change you got the understanding element state change means here when i'm clicking on the input form nothing is changing in the element the the new the element is appearing and disappearing if you click on several tabs right from rpachallenge.com it has become automation challenge it's a different element but it is not exactly changing within but for this button see the same button the moment you are clicking on the button attribute is changing that means the button value is changing anywhere in such condition you should go with element attribute change this point should be pretty clear now let's experiment what i am going to do let me keep it in the start button let me refresh the page it is in the start button okay let's indicate indicate on screen and i'm going to select the start button so what happened the start button has been selected let's hit on now look at the uh, attribute if you look at the selector right a name okay so here the a name is start now let's experiment this let me let me run it okay let let it get activated okay sequence executing now this is active it's it's actively monitoring my screen it is actively monitoring my screen now if i keep on changing any other uh, tab or page nothing is going to happen okay it will remain as it is it's just waiting for that element value to change okay it's not waiting for it to appear or disappear it is just waiting for the element value to change now if i click on the start button look at it okay it is here the moment i am going to click on it look at this do you see it it got activated and here now whatever the message you are going to show i did not change it but generally if you say start button has been clicked it will appear over here this is understood now let's say let me click on this one once again so it is still actively monitoring okay this is still running now let me hit on round 1 or let me refresh it okay now the button has changed then this got activated right now if i click on the start once again again the button got changed the value of the button got changed and it got activated so with this example you must got a clear idea when to go for the element change and when to go for the element attribute change element attribute change means the change of the value of the element and element change means the element is appearing or disappearing remember that okay so don't get confused pretty simple element state change means there are two things you should remember either it is appearing on the screen or it is getting disappearing on the screen you can activate depending on the need so if you keep it on appear the moment it appears on your screen it will get activated let's say you are on the different page the moment you come back to the page it will appear right once again newly it is appearing if it appears this get activated if you have to monitor the value of the button then you should go with element attribute change so with this example it should be pretty clear to you so thank you so much for watching we are going to come up with more such interesting contents on uipath thank you stay connected and we are going to meet in our next video bye bye